Game of the Year. This is it, the 2011 award for Game of the Year. We'd like to say personally, but we firmly believe this to be one of the strongest years of gaming. Some of these titles will not only be remembered as the best games of this particular year, but as masterful examples of the medium that will continue to be looked upon as devices of marvel and influence. Narrowing down just five games for this list was without a doubt one of the toughest in memory. The games nominated this year are the best of their kind, and gave us an experience we'll remember in the fondest of memory. Being a part of this list means that the elected game is so magnificent an experience that it had few equals, committing so few wrongs to edge as close to perfection as possible in their respective genre, and succeed as an enviable piece of video game craft. The nominees for Game of the Year are... Batman Arkham City the follow-up to the near-flawless Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City matches its predecessor note for note and in some areas trumps over it to become the Dark Knight's virtual masterpiece. This strand of the Dark Knight's legacy is the truest realisation of what the classic video game allows you to do. Use a bevy of awesome tools at your disposal to be the biggest badass imaginable. Not only does Rocksteady adhere to that ethos, but they jam-packed Arkham City with so much idiosyncratic variety and gripping psychological character drama that you can't help but be drawn into all that transpires. Loaded with 50 hours worth of content and a plethora of near-endless customizable challenge maps, Batman Arkham City firmly makes you believe you're at the helm of the greatest superhero video game ever made. Protocol 10? <gasps> Never heard of it. Dead Space 2. Horror games, when done right, evoke nothing but sheer dread that drips out of every corner of its experience. Dead Space 2 typifies this ideal, but no one predicted it would blow it even more out of the water than its nail-biting predecessor. Isaac Clarke's struggle against the Necromorphs is punctuated by Dead Space 2's decision to zero in on a personal torment in the midst of the frenzied happenings on the sprawl. The entire length of Dead Space 2's excellently crafted campaign has you on edge, never relenting in its pure ability to elicit shock and urgency. With large set-piece action sequences cropping up at intermittent moments of your tiptoeing progression, it's a remarkable balancing act by Visceral Games. Dead Space 2 commits itself so successfully and intelligently to a genre so difficult to convey in the virtual medium, making a name for itself as one of gaming's premier survival horror tenants. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Bethesda have struck the most valuable of gold before, but Skyrim is their most complete and beautiful effort to date. The game is overflowing with amazing open world design, innumerable side quests, stunning musical compositions, unique weapons, spells, what have you, to customise, and it's all sweetened with some of the most memorable story and enemy coupling ever seen in video games with the integration of dragons and dragon shouts. Everything in Skyrim is screaming with immersion. It's a fully realised world with few equals in a medium that match its ambitious depth of content and ability of rousing need in the player to discover its vast treasures. This is not a game, it's another world you inhabit and flesh out a unique personality in. With a game that allows you to do this within the confines of a stunningly epic fantasy adventure, Skyrim is the definition of a wondrous video game experience. Gears of War 3 The final hurrah for Epic's flagship franchise, at least for them anyway, Gears of War 3 is a tour de force of story, sound, music, voice acting and explosive action moments. Marcus Phoenix and Delta Squad may close out their chapter of Sarah's sprawling war story here, but it's such a resonating conclusion culminating in a satisfying finish that it's hard not to pay our respects to Cliffy B and company for providing us with such an engrossing franchise. The multiplayer is one of the most addictive and fulfilling in games, with hours and hours of teamwork to be found in the four-player cooperative campaign, horde and breakneck streak of versus modes, and with an expertly executed story driving the meat and potatoes of the game, you'll have excellent reason to finish the fight simply one of the best games of 2011. Now we go see Hoffman. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. To come off a feat of perfection and craft a follow-up as good or better than what came before is often impossible, but Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception can confidently stand as an example of what happens when a developer achieves that goal and in many ways demolishes it. 
No other game this year has mastered its tools into one complete story-driven adventure the way Naughty Dog has with Uncharted 3. The story is one of the best in the medium, its production values are impeccable, and it's so perfectly sprinkled with moments of emotional complexity that enhance an already overwhelming audiovisual experience. Throw in one of gaming's most unique multiplayer environments with raucous mid-match scenarios and traversal mechanics that dwarf its competitors in terms of innovation, as well as refined cooperative options, Uncharted 3 is interactive entertainment at its very best. No, no, no. And the 2011 Dark Podcast Game of the Year is... You're about to find out. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Our inaugural recipient for Game of the Year stripped right down to the thinnest wire between two games in our weeks of analytical banter leading up to this award. What a dilemma. We seem to be equally matched. Skyrim and Uncharted 3 are vastly different games on the surface, representing the pinnacle of their respective genres, but what unites both are how they're laden with high-quality content in all areas of their design. What elevates Uncharted 3 just high enough above Skyrim is that it covers all bases possible that the typical game makes its goal to bring to fruition. That was close, huh? Whether you want to be swept away in a swashbuckling story, leapfrog and fistfight your way through versus skirmishes online, or partner up with your friends and take on the world in co-op, the total package value of Uncharted 3 bears a much wider girth than the esoteric Skyrim, as deep with content as it absolutely is. Uncharted 3 is the consummate example of what this generation holds to be important in interactive entertainment, and with competition like Skyrim and Batman Arkham City, that's a pretty powerful declaration. With few minute shortcomings, Uncharted 3 practically reaches its pursuit of utter perfection, towing sweet refinements in all areas with it, to be bestowed as our Game of the Year of 2011.